Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Now, today we got some big news. This just announced literally 25 minutes ago. Um, so, yeah. It's, it's official that Floyd Mayweather is going to be boxing Logan Paul June 6th um, pay-per-view. It's literally, it, it's, it's going to be such an uh, interesting fight because Floyd's been retired, right? Um, and Logan still needs his first win as a professional fighter. Now, I don't really know why he would pick Floyd Mayweather to fight because Floyd, he's, he doesn't have anything to lose. He's doing this all for the money. And Logan, he has everything to lose because if he loses this fight, people are going to say, oh, no, he's not a boxer. He's not this. He's not that. That's kind of similar what what people were saying about Jake and Jake beat Ben Askren. And now people are stopped talking. You know, people still hate him, but they aren't saying, oh, well, you know, he's not a boxer. They actually respect him and acknowledge that he's there. Um, kind of bring me back to what I what Zayden said. Oh, if, if you beat me, then you're a real boxer. You don't need somebody to tell you that you're a real boxer to be a real boxer. You know what I mean? Like, that, that's, that was kind of denigrating and it's kind of like degrading me and stuff like that. So, and, you know, I, I can imagine how Jake Paul felt and how he feels in a certain, you know, certain way. Because if you, if you go and you fight somebody and you win and you win big and you put on a good performance, people are, you know, there's, there's going to be the doubters and then there's going to be the people who actually like you. So... For me, I have a I have doubters, but I also have a lot of people who like me and are very interested in what I have to say or what I have to do. But that's kind of on the low. So that's that's how I can relate to how Jake Paul feels when people say, "Oh, you aren't a boxer. You're fighting people who've never boxed before." And that's the same situation with me. I'm starting out in boxing. I picked this up three years ago. I'm not going to be anywhere near as close to where somebody is who's been boxing for like 15, 20 years. So yeah. Um, now, what I think about this fight, I think Logan definitely has the advantage. He has a height advantage. Floyd Mayweather's about 5'8", 5'11". Logan's like 6'3", 6'4". So, Logan has the advantage. He has the reach. He's probably quicker. But he doesn't have the stats that Mayweather has. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, it's going to be an exciting fight. Um... I, I think they'll both make a lot of bread off of it. They'll both make a lot of money. Uh, I, I, I would be crazy to bet on Logan Paul. I like him, but I really don't think he's going to win this. I'd like to say that he would, but like June, it's not that far away. We're like halfway through April, so that's only two months. So actually, a boxing event in two months that's coming up, that'd be great. And I have unboxing a kid from... Uh, from Montoursville in about two months. Um, he's play, he plays football like I do. Plays high school football. That's not that far away. But um, so yeah, that'll be a good event. I have to figure out a date with him. His name's Ethan Went uh, Warner, I think. Yeah. Uh, who? <laughs> um. So no, that should be a good event too. But I also want to. I I want to box somebody soon within the mo month of May. I want to get like I want to box somebody in May. And then box somebody in June. But think thing is, boxing fights like this, if you're actually going to train, they don't come up, um, they, they, you know, they take a year to come up like an actual date and an actual announcement, stuff like that. So that that's why me and Zayden fought exactly a year later. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, and also me and Zayden are also fighting next year too. We're, we're going to be fighting again. Because um, he told me he wants to get in the gym and he wants to have a rematch and it'll be the best out of three. Um, but that really pissed me off when, when he said, you know, if, if you don't win this, you aren't really a real boxer. But only if you beat me, I can say you a real boxer. I don't need somebody to validate me. I've never needed anybody's validation to tell me what I am and tell me what I'm not. Like, nobody should deserve to tell me what, you know, that, you know. Who has the right to tell me what I am and what I'm not, what I can and can't do, you know. If I work hard at something, I should be able to do it. It's not something that somebody, it's not, like, although it's ranked. You know, heavyweight, cruiserweight, lightweight, heavyweight title, you know, cruiserweight, and, and all of that. Even though it's ranked amateur, professional, I nobody should be able to tell me what I am and what I'm not. So, yeah. Um, be a pretty good fight. I, 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 I'd like to see that Logan wins, but I just don't really think that that'll happen. I mean, I don't know. Nobody's seen him box in like two years, so who knows? Now, Jake, obviously, he pulled off a big victory against Ben Askren. Dana White got really pissed off. I don't like Dana White at all. 
I think he, he talks too much for how much money he has, you know? Like, he, he made a bet, $1.3 million, to, uh, that, that Ben Askren was going to knock out Jake Paul, and he never forked over the money. He still hasn't forked over the money, you know? Snoop Dogg made a bet $2 million. Dana White still never paid Snoop Dogg either. Didn't pay Snoop Dogg, didn't pay Jake Paul. So that's, that's that too. Um, that's a dead deal. So that's probably not going to happen. I, you know, I don't know, man. So people just aren't true to their word. It's so hot here. I'm sorry. I'm not going to open the window right now because I don't want to yell out in the neighborhood. But yeah, I just reorganized my room. I, I'll show you this for the end of the video because I'm pretty much done talking. So we got Chase Claypool jersey, Patrick Mahomes jersey, Minka Fitzpatrick jersey, the upcoming monster collection, the Steeler banner covering the window. Um, here we have the Ben Roethlisberger jersey, two lightsabers, the bookshelf, which I was just putting you guys on. We've got the Star Wars posters, and we got um, my jersey from high school, from my, the, the Panthers varsity football team, number two. So that's my high school football jersey. So, yeah. So that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. And also, one side note that I forgot to mention in the video. Um, whoever wants to challenge me to a boxing match, whoever wants to box me in, and it, it, like in this month or in May, you can. Just, just, just challenge me. Call me out. Because, like, I'm down to box whoever. Um, yeah. So, well, you know, whoever wants me, whoever's next. I just bought um, brand new blue gloves. I'll put them up on the screen right here. And, um, I, I, you know, you see my theme. The last glove, the last time, well, me and Zayden, we boxed. I used these white gloves. You can see his blood's right there. He, look, his blood's also right there um yeah i bought white gloves because i wanted to see his blood um because that's better boxing him because i knew i had a feeling i was gonna make him bleed but like yeah and my my theme i i had white shoes on i had white gloves on and i had black and white shorts on so it was it was a black and white theme um how i dress for the fights i'm gonna start doing that because i'm getting into being an actual boxer so like yeah, I think now that I bought blue gloves, they have red, you know, little bits of red on it. So my theme's going to be blue with like a little bit of red. Maybe I'll wear red red shoes and I'm actually going to get boxing shoes. So like, yeah, uh, maybe the next theme I'll, you know, the next person I box will be, you know, I'll wear like yellow gloves or, or something like that. I was literally debating on buying yellow gloves or blue gloves and my friend Jacob said blue, so... Um, you guys know Jacob, uh, so yeah, next time it'll be yellow, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, like I said, and peace, double outro.